Dynamic stability testing is very similar to static stability testing, except we're adding a time component into the data that we're collecting. There are four main modes that we're concerned with in dynamic stability testing. The first is the fugoid mode. This is an interaction of pitch moments, altitude changes, and airspeed changes to create a long, gentle climb and descent interaction. The next mode is the spiral mode, which is a long, sweeping turn to one direction or the other, tending to complete a full 360. Both of these modes are called long period modes because it takes several minutes for one cycle to complete in some cases. The short period pitch oscillation modes are the third mode that we look at. These are a rocking motion about the pitch axis of the airplane. These cycles can take less than a second to complete hence short period. The final short period mode that we look at is called Dutch roll. This is an interaction of lift and drag changes at the wingtips, causing a rolling and yawing interaction that looks something like this gentle swaying that you would see in an ice skater traveling down a frozen canal in Amsterdam, hence the name, Dutch roll. Dynamic stability modes are important both for safety of the pilot in terms of workload and also for passenger comfort. That's why we tend to spend a fair bit of time on them in any flight test program. Thank you.